Hello, faithful friends. Today we will explore the powerful scriptures about healing. Stay with us as we delve into the divine wisdom. Proverbs 4, 20, 22. My son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. Let God's words be your guide and keep them close. They are life and health to you, a balm for your soul and body. Isaiah 53, 5. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. In Jesus' sacrifice, find your healing. His pain was for our peace, his suffering for our salvation. In him, we are healed and made whole. Psalm 32, Lord my God, I called to you for help, and you healed me. When you call out to the Lord, he hears and heals. Remember, in times of distress, his help is just a prayer away. Matthew 9, 35, Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness. Jesus' ministry was one of healing and hope. He brought the good news and healed all forms of sickness, a testament to his divine compassion. Malachi 4.2 But for you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness will rise with healing in its wings. You will go out and leap like calves released from the stall. For those who revere the Lord, his healing is like the sunrise, bringing light and joy. Embrace his righteousness and feel renewed like a calf set free. Luke 6.19 And the people all tried to touch him because power was coming from him and healing them all. Just as people sought Jesus for healing, seek his presence in your life. His power is still at work, bringing healing and restoration. Acts 10.38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, and how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil, because God was with him. Jesus, anointed by God, brought healing to those oppressed. His example shows us the power of goodness and divine support in healing. Psalm 107.20 he sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. God's word is powerful and life-giving. It brings healing and saves us from despair. Trust in his word for your restoration. Matthew 4.23 Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness among the people. Jesus' mission was to heal and teach. His healing touched many, a sign of the kingdom of God at work among us. Psalm 6, 2. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am faint. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. In your pain and weakness, cry out to the Lord for mercy. He hears your plea and brings healing to your deepest hurts. Mark 5, 34. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Your faith is key to your healing. Just as Jesus healed the faithful woman, he can heal you. Believe and find peace from your suffering. Psalm 147.3 He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. This verse beautifully captures God's compassion and care. It reminds us that in times of emotional pain and distress, God is there to heal our broken hearts and mend the wounds of our spirit. His presence brings comfort and healing. Jeremiah 17, 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. Here, the power of divine intervention is highlighted. It emphasizes that true healing, both physical and spiritual, comes from God. By placing our trust in Him, we invite His healing power into our lives. James 5, 14 down 15. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. This passage underscores the power of communal prayer and faith. 
It encourages us to seek support and prayers from our faith community, reinforcing the idea that collective faith and prayer have the power to bring about healing. Isaiah 41.10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This verse offers reassurance and strength. It reminds us that God is always with us, providing the support and strength we need. In times of illness or weakness, this verse reassures us of God's unwavering presence and help. Matthew 11, 28, 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Jesus invites those who are struggling or burdened to find rest and peace in him. This scripture highlights the restorative and rejuvenating power of turning to Jesus in times of need, offering a haven for the weary. Psalm 147 and 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Remember, no matter how deep your emotional scars, God is here to heal your broken heart. He lovingly tends to each wound, offering comfort and restoration. You are never alone in your pain. Jeremiah 17, 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. Seek healing from the Lord, for it is He who brings true restoration. Trust in His power to save and heal, and let your praise be a testament to His endless mercy and love. James 5, 14, 15. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If you are suffering, do not hesitate to seek the prayers of your community. United in faith, your prayers have the power to heal. Trust in the Lord's promise to uplift and restore. Isaiah 41.10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Do not fear life's trials and tribulations, for God is always with you. He provides strength in your weakness and support in your struggles. His steadfast presence is your unwavering support. Matthew 11.28-30 Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. To all who are weary and burdened, find solace in Jesus. He offers rest and peace for your soul. In his presence, find the comfort and reprieve you long for, and let his gentle spirit renew you. Exodus 15, 26. I am the Lord who heals you. Trust in the Lord, for he is your healer. In every ailment and struggle, remember that his power and love are always at work in your life. Psalm 103, 2-3. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases. Praise the Lord, who not only forgives our sins, but heals our every illness. His benefits are numerous, and His healing touch is for all. 1 Peter 2.24 By His wounds you have been healed. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross brought us healing. In His wounds, find your own healing and peace, for it was His love that bore our pains. 3 John 1.2 Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. May you find prosperity not just in wealth, but in health. As your soul grows in God's grace, so may your physical health. Proverbs 4, 20, 22. My son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. Let God's words be your guide and keep them close. They are life and health to you, a balm for your soul and body.